Google Ads is a powerful advertising platform that allows you to simply display your business right in front of where your potential customers are looking. Google Ads also offers a dedicated conversion tracking feature that allows you to simply track any action or conversion that is considered valuable to your business. Hey guys, Stuart here, welcome back to this channel and if it's your first time here then thanks for joining me. Now in this Google Ads conversion tracking tutorial for beginners, I'm going to gently take your hand and walk you through the step by step process of how to set up Google Ads conversion tracking using the dedicated conversion tracking tag. Okay, so before we launch into our Google Ads account, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that out of the way, let's go ahead and set up Google Ads conversion tracking. <music> Okay, so first things first guys, what we need to do is log into our Google Ads account. Now, if you're completely new to Google Ads, what I'll do is link a beginner's tutorial up above and down below in the description that will take you through the process of setting up, getting started and creating your first Google Ads campaign. So go ahead and check out that Google Ads tutorial if you're completely new to Google Ads. Okay, so to set up a conversion, first we need to create a conversion action. To do that, simply navigate up to Tools and Settings. Then below Measurement, Locate Conversions. Click here. Then simply navigate across to New Conversion Action and click here. And then down here, what you want to do is select the kind of conversion that you want to track. For us, what we're going to do is navigate over to website and track a website conversion for the purpose of today's tutorial. So the business I'm going to use in today's example is a service based business. And what I want to do is send traffic using Google ads to our website, to our booking form. And I want to track the conversions happening on our booking form. So the conversion that I want to track that is valuable to this business is when a booking form submission has been successful and that individual is taken to the thank you page. That is considered a conversion and I'm going to walk you through the process of setting up that kind of conversion tracking. And by understanding this process, you'll also be able to track sales. So go ahead and click website conversions. Then navigate over to select next to goal and action optimization. We're going to come down and select submit lead form. Then go ahead and name your conversion. And I'm going to call this conversion booking form lead. So this name is completely up to you and this is for your own reference within your account. Then navigate down to value and select the first option. Use the same value for each conversion. And for the purpose of this new conversion, what I want to do is add the average value of each lead that this business generates. So for example, I'm going to add 300. However, you also have the options to select use different values for each conversion or don't use a value for this conversion action. Now this is not recommended. So for the purpose of today's beginners tutorial, we're just going to keep use the same value for each conversion because we want to track leads that are generated from the booking form. And then once you've added your conversion value, simply navigate down to count. This is where we want to select how many conversions to count per click interaction. So for example, if you're tracking sales as a conversion, then you want to keep every selected. This is recommended for purchases because every purchase is valuable. So for example, let's say that a customer clicked on your Google ad and then they made a purchase on your website. Then maybe later on they came back to your website not by clicking a Google ad and then they made another purchase. So those two purchases will be recorded under that single click. So basically from that one ad click, that customer has made two purchases. In other words, that customer clicked on your ad once and then made two purchases, which are then recorded as two conversions. However, if we navigate over to one, and this option is recommended if only the first interaction is valuable and should be recorded. 
For example, if someone clicks on your Google ad and then arrives on your sign up form, they sign up to your newsletter, then that is considered one conversion, even if they come back and add their details again. So only one conversion is recorded per click with this option. So we're gonna keep one selected because we're generating leads. Then simply scroll down and click on click through conversion window. And this is where you want to essentially add the maximum time after an ad has been clicked on that you then can measure as a conversion. So for example, if someone clicked on my ad and then landed on my booking form, however, they did not complete the booking form and after 30 days, they came back to my website and then completed the booking form, that would not be counted as a conversion because it's over 30 days. However, if that visitor clicked on our ad, landed on our booking form and left, but then came back to the website within 30 days and they completed the conversion, in our case, that's the booking form, then that would be counted as a conversion. And you can simply click here and change that duration if you like. We're gonna keep 30 days selected. Then simply scroll down and click on engaged view conversion window. This is essentially the same, however, after a video engagement. So for example, if you're running video ads and a visitor has engaged with your video and they complete the conversion within three days, then that will be counted as a conversion. And again, you can go ahead and change that duration if you like. Then simply scroll down and click on view through conversion window. And this type of conversion is when a person may see your ad and not interact with it. So not click your ad or not view your video ad. Then convert later. This is called a view through conversion. So basically if someone views my ad but they don't interact with the ad and then later they end up on my website and convert within one day, then that is recorded as a conversion. Again, if you like, you can change the time duration over here. Then simply scroll down and click on attribution model. And this essentially allows us to allocate how much credit an ad interaction gets for your conversion. So for example, if we click on last click, basically the last click of your Google ad that then ends up turning into a conversion gets all the credit. Then we have first click gets all the credit. Then we have linear, which means all the credit is distributed fairly among all the different clicks that end up turning into a conversion. Then we have time decay and position based. However, we recommend selecting last click, especially if it's your first time creating a conversion. Then once you start generating data within your account, the data driven option is the best option. And basically Google Ads will distribute credit for the conversion based on the past data for this particular conversion action. So what we're gonna do is keep last click selected and then come down and click create and continue. Now this part can be quite daunting for most people, especially for beginners and those that are non-techy or have no coding experience. But don't worry, I'm going to take your hand and gently walk you through this process. So what we're going to do is go ahead and install this tag on our website so we can start tracking conversions. And I'm going to show you how to do this on a WordPress website. However, if you have a developer and you want your developer to do this for you, simply click on email the tag and then simply scroll down and enter the email address of your developer and click send and continue. And they'll be able to take the global site tag and the event snippet and add that to your website. However, like I mentioned, we're gonna navigate up to install the tag yourself. And what we need to do is take two pieces of code and install those into our website. So the first piece of code is the global site tag. Now this is that code snippet here. This is the global site tag that we need to install on every page of our website. But what I'm going to do is show you a plugin that allows you to do this in just a few minutes. And then once we've added the global site tag, we need to then take the event snippet. So this code down here. And then for us, we want to add the event snippet to the page a customer reaches after completing our conversion. So for us, that is the thank you page. We're gonna add the event snippet to our thank you page. Okay, so first what we're gonna do is navigate up to global site tag and simply come down and copy this entire code. 
Then once you've copied the global site tag, go ahead and log into your WordPress website. Then once you've arrived inside your WordPress website, simply navigate over to plugins over on the left hand side and then come down and select add new. Then navigate up to search plugins over on the right hand side and then type in HFCM. And then all you need to do is locate the plugin header footer code manager by 99robots and you can see that this plugin has 5 star reviews and over 300,000 active installations. Now before you go ahead and install any plugins on your WordPress website, it's best practice to back up your website in case any of your plugins or themes clash with each other. If you're not too sure how to back up your WordPress website, what I'll do is link a beginner's tutorial up above and down below in the description that will guide you through the process of backing up and restoring your WordPress website. Then what we want to do is simply go ahead and click install now and then click activate. And just like that we've installed the plugin. Now what we need to do is locate the plugin that we've just installed by coming down to HFCM, click here. Then just navigate up to snippets and click add new snippet. Then simply come down and name your new snippet that we're about to create. Remember this is our global site tag that we want to add throughout our entire website. So this is an easy process for doing that. So what I'm going to do is add the name global site tag Google Ads. Then come down make sure HTML is selected. Also make sure that site wide is selected and then scroll down and make sure that you have the location header selected and then scroll all the way down to snippet slash code. What we want to do is simply paste in the global site tag that we copied earlier. And then simply come down and click save. And now what we need to do is head back to our Google Ads account and copy the event snippet. And here we are back inside our Google Ads account. Now under event snippet we want to take this event snippet code and simply copy the code and then head back to our WordPress website and then navigate back up to add new snippet then come down to snippet name and I'm going to add event snippet Google Ads and for my own reference I'm also going to add in brackets booking form conversions then come down make sure the snippet type is HTML again and then under site display we want to click on site wide and then come down to specific pages then click on page list here and I'm going to select the thank you page and then click out of here because remember we want to track leads from our booking form so to do that we've added the global site tag and then for the event snippet we've added the thank you page so as soon as someone has completed the booking form they'll be taken to the thank you page and that's going to be recorded as a conversion now come down to location and click on before content and then scroll all the way down to the bottom and simply paste in the event snippet code and then go ahead and click save and now what we're going to do is head back to our Google Ads account and then once you've added your global site tag and the event snippet then come down and click next and then click done and as you can see up here we have our new conversion action created. Now the status is unverified and it can take up to three hours before you're verified. Now what we're going to do is make sure that our conversion tracking is set up properly by using a extension. So to do that simply type in chrome.google.com forward slash web store in your browser and that will take you here. Then up in the top left hand corner simply type in Google Tag Assistant. And remember this is for your Google Chrome browser. Then come down and click on Tag Assistant Legacy by Google and click Add to Chrome. Then add extension. Then simply go ahead and locate the Google Tag Assistant extension. Click on the extension and come down and select done. 
and then hit enable. And now what we want to do is check that our conversion tracking is working on our website. To do that, simply head over to your website that you just added the conversion tracking to. Then what you want to do is refresh your website pages, then navigate up to your Google Tag Assistant extension and click on it. And as you can see, we have the global site tag that we just added. Now what I'm going to do is head over to the thank you page. And here we are on the thank you page. Remember our conversion event that we want to measure is those that complete the booking form and then arrive on the thank you page. And that is recorded as a conversion. Now to check that everything is set up correctly, simply navigate up to your Google Tag Assistant extension again, and then simply navigate down. And as you can see, this is green and we have successfully installed our Google Ads conversion tracking onto our thank you page. And as you can see, it's as simple as that to set up your conversion tracking. Now what we're going to do is head back to our Google Ads account. And basically, if you click on any of your campaigns within your Google Ads account, you will notice the conversions column over here and you can see all your conversions down here and other metrics over here like your cost per conversion and your conversion rate. And just like that, guys, you now know how to create and track your conversions within Google Ads. And there we have it guys, that is it for this Google Ads conversion tracking tutorial for beginners. Now if you have any questions about conversion tracking, make sure to pop those down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care guys.